Hi everyone, welcome back to my workshop and welcome back to Faithful You. Uh, this is the second part in our series of using the drum carder and spinning some yarn to make into something. Last week's episode we looked at the things that you can use for carding wool. The first one was hand carders. I've got two different sizes which I showed you in that episode. Then we looked at the blending board and what that looks like and uh, lastly we looked at the drum carder which is what we're going to be using for this series. So if you want to have a look at that then that is the previous video to this one and I'll put it in the little eye section at the top here for you. But in this one we're going to have a look at the fibre today and uh, we're going to have a look through the box and see what we can find and see what colours we can come up with. And then I'm going to show you what it is that I've picked and then we're going to put the first, we're going to have it into three different batches. One for the Rolags, one for the Bat and one for the Diz. And then we'll end up with three different yarns and uh, then we'll spin them. So the first one today is we're going to do is we're going to do Rolags and we're going to have a rummage through the box, see what we can find, what colours we can come up with. And uh, then we'll go through the fibres together and we'll have a look at the add-ins and then we'll pop it through the drum carder. So this episode might be a little bit longer than the last one, but uh, I think it'll be worth it and I think it'll be fun because there'll be plenty of sparkle in it. Because I love sparkle and I love adding sparkle to all my yarns. I might add some silks in as well, but we'll have to see. See what we come up with. Past Hazel is going to be coming up in a minute because this part of the footage was shot back in October. So I'm going to hand you over to Past Hazel and uh, we'll get on with the video for today. So enjoy the rummage through my box and uh, enjoy what's coming up in the video and I will see you at the end. Right, okay. So this is what's come out of my bin of colour. And there's lots of goodies in here. Lots and lots and lots of goodies. But um, what I do like is this one. This is quite nice. Let's see what else we've got. Got this one, which is pink with silk. So that's a possible. Um, got lots of pinks in here. I've got this one, which is a fibre hook one. Pink, purple, and gold. So that could be quite nice, because I think I might have two of them. This blue's nice. But I'm just not feeling blue, I'm feeling pink, purple and orange. So let's have a look. Purple sparkly is nice, this one. One side. That one's nice. It's got a nice bit of colour in it, but there's not enough there for a shawl. This one's nice as well. This is a John Arban one. So there's that one. I just want to do some really bright pink. About that pink and orange, that's nice. Those two together. Oh, well, that cerise pink. Hmm. You know, there's too much choice. Got another nice orange. I'm actually quite drawn to that blue. I wonder what we could do with that, because there's quite a bit of that. I'm quite drawn to that blue. And there's this one as well, which got gold in it. Which is nice. Hmm. There's 
that pink, purple and blue. Now that doesn't go with that. I've also got these as well, which are from Fibre Hut. And this one's Merino and um, Merino Pewter Colour. Ooh, now that's quite nice. About that, a shot of purple. Now that could be quite nice, those two, those three together. So yeah. Ooh, look at this one. Quite nice. That's sari silk. Hmm. About this one. That's nice. That's another hilltop cloud. This must be one I got a wonder wool. And this one is merino linen and bamboo. Hmm. Now that's a nice colour combination that. Got another one of them. Which is a fibre hut. So I've got two of them. Right. I'm going to go and get my tea. And then I'm going to come back. We'll uh, have a colour combination that we can do on the drum carder. So see you in a little bit. I've been having a sort through the fibres that I've got and I've come up with a selection of three different yarns. So I've got my drum carder out and it's been cleaned. Um, and I'm going to do taking it off as a bat, taking it off through a diz, so it's going to be one long sausage, and then taking it off as roll eggs, which is when you use sticks, sticks or knitting needles to uh, take it off the carder and then you can stretch out the fibres and uh, you can make it into a long sausage and then you can spin it on your spinning wheel. And then what I've decided to do is I've got a triangle loom that I made myself a couple of years ago and uh, it's I think it's about five or six foot wide um, and then it's about a metre and a half that way by about three quarters of a metre that way so I thought that with the yarns that I've got I thought then I would do it on the triangle loom and see if I can work out how to do that so I'm not sure what sort of yarns I'm going to spin yet until I get to the spinning wheel but I am thinking of doing coils because I think that'll look really really nice um, I've knitted with coiled yarn before that I've spun and that's turned out really nice so yeah that's what I thought that I would do today so yesterday we had a look through the fibre box and then I needed to go and get my tea so today I've got a selection of the fibres that we picked out when we were looking through that and I put them into three piles so what I've done is let me show you I've got my basket to put them in right so the first one we've got is this pewter colour so that's going to be our main colour and then our accent colours are going to be this one is alpaca and then these three are merino so we've got a nice orange a nice green and my signature pink i love pink i love putting it in everything i love putting it in all my yarns all my felting everything it's just got to be in anything so this is going to be our colour palette for yarn one so that's that then we've got another colour palette for yarn two and my main colour in this one is going to be this beautiful blue colour i love this blue i think it's gorgeous and i've got loads of it not sure what the fibre is but it's very fluffy it looks like it could be alpaca so we're going to have that one as our base colour and then for this one we've got orange brown and this pinky goldy purple and I think that's really really nice so we're going to have that with the blue so that's our colour palette for the second one and then the third one is these purple and pink and then in that one we're going to add orange and this beautiful bright purple this one 
and then for our base colour we've got green so we're going to add those colours where are we those colours with the green so I think this green is from Hilltop Cloud Hilltop Katie as we call her here yes it is and it's merino linen and bamboo is it yes it is it's merino linen and bamboo and I got that at Wonderwall I think and then these are ones that I've dyed myself so I thought I'd show you something that you can do when you take it straight from the sheep, dye it yourself and then spin it up into yarn. So that's my colour palette for that one. I think that's really nice. I think it's more of a gardeny sort of shade. So that's that one. So we've got our three yarns. And then I've got a bit extra pink and a bit extra orangey stuff. So in that yarn everything. I'm going to do different add-ins in the different yarns um, and in the green one that I've just shown you I'm going to put these bells. That might be quite nice. So that's going to be a bit of a jangly yarn. So that's going to go with our green, purple and pink. I think that would be really nice. So that's our bells and then in this one with the blue I found some sequins so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the thread off the sequins and re-thread them through something maybe um, a, another yarn maybe, where are we maybe something like that it's got sparkle in it I'm not sure if it'll be too thick but um, yeah, we shall see. So that one's going to go with this one. Which I think is going to go really, really nice. So that's that one. And then the other one. This one is going to be plied with... I have a nice selection of sequin yarns these ones i use these all the time um, and they have little tiny sequins in them and they're gold threads so i've got that one i've got multicolored gold that one and i've got multicolored silver so i'm going to ply it because it's pewter i'm going to ply it with the silver and then you'll get all the different colours in the sequins. I don't know whether you can see those sequins. They're really, really pretty. So this last yarn is going to be plied with that se those sequins. So that'll be really nice. So, what I'm thinking is coils. So the main part of the yarn will be the plain colour, this one or the blue or the green and then the coils are going to be pops of colour in these yeah that'll be really nice and then we'll see what we've got when we come to make our scarf I might put them all together in the one scarf as a sample that might be really nice mightn't it so that's that so let's put that basket down there also, what we've got as well is all our sparkly, glittery stuff. So what I'm thinking is putting some of these in with the colours just to give them that bit of a pop. Um, we've got gold, we've got blue, we've got multi got sparkly it's got quite a bit I think there's also bits of silk in here as well there's this one which is really nice there's this bright pink which is really nice and the good thing about these is a little bit goes a long way so it may look like there's only a little bit but you don't need a lot to add a bit of sparkle so yeah, we're going to add some of that in and also for the grey, 
great this, isn't it? Try and put them down without dropping them. Getting all excited. <laughs> I've also got things like this. This is camel silk. And I've got some little bits of silk. I've got baby camel. I think I got that from the Isle of Skye. I've got cashmere. I've got blended ones. I've got silks. I've got cotton. I've got more silk. I've got bamboo. So yeah, as you can see, I think I've got rose fibre as well. I think that one's rose. So as you can see, I've got a lot of different things that we can pop in our yarn. So that's the plan. So I'm hoping to get that lot carded today. Um, and then I'll show you a bit of what I'm doing with the card. I'm adding the bits and bobs in. Um, and then when it's all done, we'll then I'll then show you the technique how I take it off the carder. Um, and then we'll start spinning so that's going to be exciting so yeah i'm going to carry on now i might put some locks with these i'll show you if i find some locks that will go with them i've got an idea of ones that will go with the blue one so we'll just have to see when we get it because once it gets started you know i don't stop i just think oh i'll add this i'll add that and then before i know it, i've got a really funky yarn and i don't know what to do with it but yeah it's such fun it's such good fun so yeah you see i've got these locks here that i showed you the other day and this silk as well but this pack of locks which i think might go nice with that brown one. Ooh, they do as well there's also horn might put that with that Ooh, that looks nice so yeah we'll have a look as we go see what we come up with because i have got another big box of locks as well so yeah first things first though is to weigh out the yarn so i'll just turn the camera around and i'll show you what i'm doing right so what i'm thinking of is 25 grams of the first color so the first color we're going to do is the blue so push that lot out of the switch the scales on we've got it on grams the good thing is when you get these coils they just uncoil like that so if you pop it on as, a, as you open it you can measure it without having to undo the whole thing Ooh, we've got a lot there let's take a bit back 22 it's not accurate but it's my yarn so it doesn't matter Ooh. oh we've got 36 grams there <laughs> so we'll go with that because I don't want to have to take it off and put it back on again right so we've got Right, we've got 33 grams there, so that'll do. And I think this is alpaca, look, it's really floaty and it's really floaty and fine. So that's our base colour, so that's that. So that's 36 grams. Right, now we need our accent colours. Right, we'll go with 25 grams of each, I think. The brown and the orange. Just there. Let's go for 20 because that's quite a lot of orange, isn't it? 16. Do you know? I think that might be it because I'd like to use quite a bit of this one with the different colours in this one here. And there's 50 grams in that, so yeah, go for 20. Scales don't want to pick this one up. 18. 
19, 20. So that's our orange. It's 20 there. And then we'll go for the brown. As I say, it's quite a long process because you've got to work out how much you want in each one. Not just a case of pulling bits off. Because you want to make sure you've got enough yarn for your project. That's 19. Some of these I've had for years and they get felted with being in the boxes. And with being outside as well because they're all kept outside in the garage. 20. So that's that one. 20 of the brown. 20 of the orange. 36. I'll say 35 of the blue. So what's that? 40. That's 75. So now we want 25 of this one. And the thing I like about this is it's got pink, purple and gold in it. If you can see that. Pink, purple and gold. So we've got three colours. So then that gives us one, two, three, four, five colours and the main colour. So see what we've got there. I want 25 of this one. Oh, just under. <laughs> a little bit more. That'll do. 27. Right, so we've got just over 100 grams. And there's our colours. Okay, so that's our first one worked out. So let's put that out the way. And let's pop our colours in here. Okay, right. So next, let's have a think of what we can add to it. I quite like this gold. We could add a bit of this pink, which again is from Hilltop Cloud. Oh, we've got a colour here called Autumn Sparkle. We'll add that. That one's from Wingham's. We've got no green. Um, and then we've got this nice blue as well. So we'll put that in. So there's our colours. Yeah, that's a bit for this one. Right, so there's our sparkle. Okay. So clean the card, eh? it's all nice and clean. The first colour I'm going to do is my base colour. Hoping it's going to go through the drum card. Because eh? I've got a very coarse drum on my card and fine fibres don't seem to go through very well so we'll see. Yep, yeah, it's not bad. Nice colour. So all you're doing is you're pulling the fibres apart, placing them on the feed bed, feeding it in. Don't put it all through in one big roll lag because one big fibre because it'll clog your drum card up and it'll damage it so you just want to separate the fibres out a bit so you can pull them apart and pull and then pop that on the card and it's the same technique whether you're using a fibre board a blending board or the carder you don't want to clog the teeth up and damage the teeth and get all the fibres going in the same direction and then we'll take it off and we'll add our sparkle now this drum carder will do a 100 gram bat because this one's going to be the bat Now if you're not putting too much through, it won't clog up this little drum, this little wheel. It should all go on this big one. You can do it this way, 
where you just do it straight onto the big drum but I don't like doing it that way too much I prefer to do it this way so I'm going to carry on with the blue and then I'll come back in a minute when I show you me adding the sparkle right okay so this is the blue done put it through the card once it is alpaca I think it feels very soft um, so all I'm doing now is just peeling it off the card making sure we get all the fibres off see it's stretched out the fibres lovely doesn't look much when it comes in those big long snake things but then once you stretch out the fibres it's a really lovely colour really soft and it really does feel like alpaca so there's that as you can see it's very soft very fluffy so now we're going to add the sparkle I think we're going to add this one look at that on there so yeah I like that blue that much I don't want to alter the colour so what we're going to do is we're going to pull a bit off like that tease it apart like that put it back on the it's quite long now actually these fibres are really long could bend even be sorry silk. Sorry, uh, sorry. So I'm gonna do that. I think this is sorry. Oh, it's a lovely electric blue colour. So what we're doing now is we're stretching out the fibres again. And then we're gonna get our bit of sparkle. Get a little bit more. Try not to get it in one spot too thick. Like I'm doing. Right. You want to seal that in now. So you take some more fibre. And that goes on the top so that's all we do do another one see this is why it takes so long because you're popping it through the card at once and then that's then sealed in so I'm going to carry on with the blue and then I'll show you when um, I've added the other colours and done the other colours and then I'll show you me for the finished bat right okay so I've decided because I'm putting it on in individual colours. I'm going to use my knitting needles and make Rolex. So what you want to do is, you want to find the bar on the drum card. It's like a little wooden thing with screws in and that's what holds your carding cloth onto the drum. It's got a little groove in it along here. What you want to do is, you want to put this little tool, where are we, this little tool called a doffer, in the groove you want to separate the fibres like that like that so they're now separated okay next what you want to do is you want to put your knitting needles which need to be longer than the size of the drum than the width of the drum and you want to pull it, hold it tight. One that way, one that way. And you want to hold it tight. Pull it to the end and turn. You want to turn your fibres in like that. Put your thumbs on the drum. Oh, and stretch. You're not supposed to separate it. It's just this fibre is so fine. And then you want to spin it round like that. 
take one needle out, the other needle out, and you're left with that. And then all you do then is you spin from the end there and it stretches the fibres out. So that's one. Didn't show you that very well, did I? So then we lift it again. Pop your needles on. Make sure they're in the middle. Hold it tight. Turn. Pull. Turn. Pull. Turn. Pull. Turn. And then we'll stop. And we'll pull that one off. And that's what you end up with. So what you take your needles out. You take one needle out of one end. Like that. Pull the other needle out. And then that's what you've got. So I'm going to carry on and take all this off. You may need to use your doffer again to lift the fibres out of the teeth. Right, we'll do this last bit and then that, that's the blue. So I'll do the same thing for the other colours and then I'll come back and show you when they're done. I'll show you what I've got in the blue so far. So I'm going to carry on doing this with all my colours and then when I come back I'll have this yarn ready to spin which I might start tomorrow. So I'll switch the camera off now and um, I'll bring you back later. The next one, I'm going to do the next yarn. I'm going to try using a diz on that. Right, there we go, there's the brown. Um, we had a really good time rummaging through the box, putting the sparkle together and uh, popping it through the drum carder. So that is the end of the second part and I'll just show you what, I've, what we've come up with. If I can find them, where did I put them? Oh, here they are. These are the roll eggs that we did in that video. I have shown them in a previous knitting podcast, but... Uh, that was the orange that we did and it's got gold sparkle in it. Don't know whether you can see that. Then we did some gold. This was the gold. Now this one came out of that multicolored one, which was the pink, the purple and the gold. So that's the purple, that's the, the gold. Then this was the pink that was in that roll egg. It's this one, which has got pink sparkle in it. And then this was the purple out of that one. There's our purple. And that's got purple sparkle. Maybe you can see it sparkling in the light. So that's our purple. And then we have brown. Which I think this was alpaca, but I'm not sure. Because they get quite felted when they're in the bags. And that's got gold sparkle in. So that's the brown. And then this is going to be our main colour. This is the blue. Those colours are going to be bumps for our coils. And then this is going to be our main part of it. Which is the blue. These ones here. 
and these have got blue sparkling. So that's our colour palette for the first one. So that was all our roll eggs, that's them. And I just need to get on with spinning that. So that's the first one. But uh, yeah, what I want to do is I want to wait until I've carded it all. And then I can show you what each one looks like, show you what bat looks like, show you what these look like, show you what the dis looks like next to each other. And then I will spin them and show you it's spun up. So that was the Rolex. So the next one we're going to move on to will be our bat, which is the next episode coming up. And then the one after that will be our dizzed off one. And then we'll get on with the spinning and then we'll decide what we're going to do with this at the end. So it may be a bit disjointed as it comes out to you because it all depends when I can get out here and how much I can get done. And uh, yeah, I just hope you've enjoyed the first two parts. So I'm going to go in now and go and do the tea and uh, I will leave you and see you at the weekend. So I hope you've enjoyed my, ep my episode today, my little series on carding wool and preparing it for spinning. And uh, I will see you next time. So have a lovely evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. If you have enjoyed my video, please do like and subscribe. Please do hit the notification bell and that will tell you when the next part's coming out. And uh, come back and have some more fun with the drum card and the sparkly bits in the next one, in the third part. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a lovely evening. And bye for now. Bye bye.